Shalom, Kahala Yamlagi Hal Basum Yao Shai Basum Rakakutas, the one of the elders of Apostles of Great Moonstone, Shalom Sisinsi Akim, the true believers in Yahweh Ma Yahweh Shai. Okay, this place is, just keeps on getting worse and worse, no matter what. Look, man, there's no healing for this place. Yeah, the whole and true healing for this place is what is, is for this society to go down. Second Peter, the second chapter is going to go down by what? By fire. Yeah, this is the remedy that is in the midst for this current society. As you can see, the the article says Switzerland says Sweet, uh, Switzerland just took uh, this massive uh, step forward to protect LGBTQ LGBTQ people. All right. Now they're saying now to be uh, homophobic. And transphobia is now becoming what legalized. Yeah, it's no longer you're going to be held uh, guilty for for, for 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 transgressing the laws of the land for be, for you speaking against homosexuality. Uh, this is what the society has has, has come to. Yeah. It says it says it says if you were caught being homophobic or transphobic in the airplane nation says you could soon find yourself serving some serious time some serious jail time under a new law from swiss poli pol uh, political um mafia's reynald you see now we're getting vex worse and worse in society okay some precept of his uh, leviticus uh, 18 and 22 says thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind is it is it is a it says it is abomination yeah, having men grinding between one another, yeah, is an abomination. The same thing applies when women, another you see women sleeping with other women. Okay, it is what is an abomination. You see, let's get let's get Deuteronomy twenty two. So Deuteronomy chapter twenty three and one. Okay, now becoming a transphobia is now illegal. You see. It's uh, Deuteron Deuteronomy chapter 23, <clears throat> verse 1, it says, He that is wounded in the stone and or have his privy members cut off shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Yet those of you who go out and, and get these gender reassignments, you're an abomination, a.k.a. Tra transgenders. You see, so the Bible, you will, you will define it as being uh, homophobic. Yeah. That is the word of the Lord. That is wicked. That is the standard that has been set up. Okay, Psalms 19. Let's get Psalms 19. To start the book of Psalms, <clears throat> chapter 19. And 8. Okay. This is Psalm chapter 19. And 7 says, The law of the Lord, Yahweh Shah, is perfect. Yeah, these laws, this, 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 there's nothing corrupt about the laws, statutes, commandments, and the Holy Scriptures. They are perfect. This is the creator of the heavens and the earth, the whole eternity, all existence. He made everything perfect by His Word. You see, He never goes off. He's perfect in all His ways. This is Psalms 19 verse 7 says, The law of the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, is perfect. Converting the soul, the testimony of the, of Yahweh Bashmiyasha is sure, making wise the simple. Yeah, these laws are perfect, and homosexuality, and transgender, LGBTQT is all nothing but abomination before the eyes of the Heavenly Father. Okay, and that's going to be made manifest when judgment start proceeding throughout the four winds. Yeah, none of you homosexuals, those of you who don't repent from your wickedness, are going to make it. You're all going to die miserable, horrible deaths. Yeah, just get Job. So Job 36 and 14. This is the kind of a generation we live in. Yeah. This is a Job 36 and 14. It says that they die in youth. And their life is among the unclean, these homosexuals, these unclean. This is the kind of a generation we live in. A wicked and sinful and adulterous generation. Alright. 
do as, as thou will. This is the kind of generation we, generation we're living in. Okay, things have gotten worse and worse. Job 36 and 14 says, They die in youth, in youth and their life is among the unclean. Who are these unclean? These homosexuals, these nations, and their abominable ways, detestable ways. And this, let's get Revelation and close off. This is Revelation 22. All these societies never learn a goddamn thing. That's that's why the kingdom must must come in. Yeah. This is uh, Revelation 22. And 11 says, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he that which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Okay. We want to see the kingdom of heaven be established right now. This is the Acts. The first chapter, this, 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 this is the, some part of the reason why we want to see this place burning up in flames. Yeah, Acts chapter 1. <clears throat> Acts, and one six is, Acts chapter 1 verse 6 is, uh, says, When they were therefore come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time ret restore again the kingdom to Israel? Because the next kingdom which is to come is going to be in righteousness. Yeah, Psalms 19 and 7, like I read, the laws of the Lord are perfect, converting the soul. All the souls of the matters are going to be converted. Because what man, what man of a king is, so is the people. Yeah, a, a righteous kingdom is going to be established very soon. Not this, this, this detestable, abom abominable nation. Okay, this current society that we under. Yeah, your LGBTQ, Q, LGBTQ, T, etc. community, you're nothing but an abomination. All praise unto Yahweh, Bashmi, Hashai, Bashmi, Kakadash, the Balance of the Elder Apostles of Great Most Old, Yellow Son, Dan, Shalom, Jews, and Siakim, the believers in Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, in spirit, in truth, in faith, and sincerity, the whole full elect. The only lives that matter of the 12 tribes, the elect. Shalom.